Imagine a world millions of years after evolution. This is a new chapter within the story of the dinosaurs. Our modern world is home to an ecosystem of different creatures. Now their future is prehistoric. Welcome to the wetlands of Europe. In this episode of The Future is Prehistoric. This episode is set in a wildlife sanctuary called the European Dinosaur Sanctuary. This sanctuary provides the perfect ecosystem for dinosaurs and other species of animals lives in a habitat that has lots of food and water in these swamps. Swamps was a habitat for dinosaurs. Two live with different herbivores and carnivores. This is a giant sauropod called Brachiosaurus. This one is only a young adult Brachiosaur. That is getting a bigger size. And this famous image shows a variety of different dinosaurs from Parasaurolophus and Kynosaurus and Stegosaurus. But the eight biggest animals in the Jurassic Park franchise is recognizable by so many people and that is this creature right there it is simply known as the Brachiosaurus this is the true size of this animal making it one of the largest dinosaurs in the Jurassic period Brachiosaurus is one of the first dinosaurs that has longer front limbs than its back limbs with a long neck that held straight up to help eating tall trees like monkey puzzle. As the other sauropods are drinking like this Apatosaurus herd, there are giant predators in this sanctuary that are not just dinosaurs. This young Brachiosaur has entered somebody's territory. And this is not a perfect habitat for a giant herbivore. This is a species of a prehistoric giant alligator. This male Danosuchus is guarding his habitat to prevent any animals to eat or stomp his female's nest. The Brachiosaurus has a serious injury due to the powerful bite of the Dinosuchus.
The poor giant has lost a lot of blood due to the bite force of the giant alligator. methods of Dana such as continues with its modern relatives. Modern crocodiles are dangerous animals because their bite force is so powerful that it can rip off a face of a zebra with some parts of its skull. To get the idea of how powerful the animal was, this is an image of a Dinosuchus hunting down a dinosaur called Calivosaurus. And in detail in this picture, it shows that the Dinosuchus can do something called a death fall, oh, which is how modern animals like crocodiles or alligators can attack their prey in the water and do like a, a wall. Oh to um, kill its fit and very fast because Dinosuchus' bite force is around 18,000 newtons. And if this creature was about to attack you with 18,000 newtons in its bite force, it could probably kill you like straight away, making them one of the most powerful bite forces in the animal kingdom. Danosuchus is so dangerous in the Cretaceous. This makes it one of the largest crocodilians in the world. The reason the male attacked its victim, because the female is watching its eggs. There is, however, interesting behavior when it comes to the reproduction of Dinosuchus. This is an image of a mother sitting on top of, of or sitting nearby a nest which is like full of eggs. Now in order to have the babies come out of the eggs, sometimes they'll hatch inside of a nest and sometimes the females sometimes will however uh, roll out the unhatched eggs and then put it in its mouth and then help it and by using its teeth eat so then the baby has enough strength to push out the egg cells else and then and then you have a baby crocodile or alligator starting their own lives modern crocodiles and alligators use the same behavior as dinosuchus this part of the video is because of the Wi-Fi wasn't working while I was doing the narration for the text-to-speech and like the voices of the different actors in the Camp Club app so um, I have to do some for now and subscribe if you want more videos like this. The swamps are home to a variety of different herbivores and carnivores but there is one giant and lives there throughout life on this planet. Meet the giant cell bag, Spinosaurus aegyptius. It is basically a T-Rex sized crocodile with a long tail 
that is used for swimming, long legs, a pair of huge arms with three claws, and a giant seven foot tall sail on its back. And that basically what a Spinosaurus is. see right now are brachiosaurs, adult brachiosaurs, and trying to find basically their baby. But the main question is on dinosaur behavior, how are they A, have their own children even though they're 75 tons? There is however a challenging job when pain intolerances are starting to Think about how a dinosaur would have started mating. This is an image of a pair of brachiosaurus. The one on the top is the male, and one on the bottom is a female. Now, in order to have the male, you know, started mating in the first place, is actually to wear off from his hind legs, eggs, and put the feet and almost like hop on the top of the female, while it doesn't need to like jump that high because this creature only weighs about 75 metric tons and adding that extra weight into the female's bag is actually quite challenging. There is a fossil of a Tyrannosaurus rex named Sue and it's in some parts of the, in the tales further of Sue the T-Rex they actually quite stumbled on and when the T-Rex, a male Tyrannosaur, would have started mating on her when the tail got trampled, ampled or stepped on in the first place. And that is quite challenging for some dinosaurs that add extra weight, weight into the females and then the males transfer the sperm from its penis and transfer them inside of the female's cloacus and then and she can reproduce eggs in order to populate the number of brachiosaurs in that particular herd. And that's how Brachiosauruses had their own um, sexual moments in life. Now the key to the survival in swamps is that there are those different places as in the European dinosaur sanctuary where dinosaurs would feel at home. Whether something to do with forests is, or grasslands or open spaces or um, wetlands that really is depending on the dinosaur's survival skills, including some large predators. Predators like Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus had similar features of the crocodiles because of the fossilized evidence on its skull itself. Because the skull of Spinosaurus has holes at the tip of the snout which is actually similar to the crocodiles but in a different way. Spinosaurus uses its skull with those holes to use them as motion sensors when it's on water. For example, this image from the documentary series Planet Dinosaur it shows a Spinosaurus' specific way of hunting in water by using a snail as a sensor when detecting large surface creatures called Ongopristus. It uses it like a crocodile to wait for it right, to get to the tip of the snout so then the Spinosaurus could grab its victim and then basically eat it similar to a crocodile but with large claws with long arms using them to cut off 
bits of meat and flesh at the same time while its prey dies. Hi guys, so I paused this video here it's, you know, so that you guys, the new you know, audience out there watching this episode of the Future is Prehistoric, don't forget to you know, subscribe. And also comment down below if your favorite dinosaur of this series. And also make sure you smash a like button so I can create more dinosaur videos and more dinosaur content and to um make different short films or movies or anything in particular involving dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a brand new video on the Futurist Prehistoric Series Season 1. Now, back into the video and comment down below your favourite dinosaur or or any dinosaur that you guys want to see in the series, comment down below. Now, back into the main video. <laughs> the Spinosaur is at the Dinosuchus' territory. And this is a dangerous place for a large animal. And the Dinosuchuses started to attack the Spinosaur, even though this creature is bigger than Dinosuchus and it is basically like a walking crocodile. But out of nowhere, things are starting to get to a whole other level. A Tyrannosaurus Rex comes in and attacks the Spinosaurus because he recognizes this dinosaur from Isla Sauna. Because this T Rex was the father of its previous young and started to attack the Spinosaurus itself. started to invade the Dinosuchus' territory, but the large male won't even let them on the other territory. Because 
the brachiosauruses know that this creature is the murderer for their young. And so, instead of invading their territory, they walk away because they already know that they are starting their own family in the prehistoric, like, swamplands. The European Dinosaur Sanctuary is home to a large variety of different creatures. Anything from dinosaurs, birds, and some species of mammals. The Dinosuchus lives in the swamps like a giant prehistoric alligator but with a family on its own. And this place is home to one of the largest predators in the world, Spinosaurus aegyptius. And also in the habitat of the swamps is home to large herbivores like Brachiosaurus, towering in other creatures at 50 feet tall and weighing about 75 metric tons. These creatures will continue their success in their very own prehistoric planet in the modern society of human beings and modern wildlife in planet Jurassic Earth.